the main fight of the prelims, your girl Caitlin Chukagan. And what's this going to be on? This is going to be on. This is going to be on Fight Pass and ESPN Plus, I believe. Can they do that? Yeah. Isn't that double dipping? So now Caitlin, we've talked about, she was offered the title fight. Right. She was offered Valentina, and she turned it down because of her wedding, right? Yes. Because the times just didn't match up. Yeah. And then what we, like, I remember when I said this to you, we were like, oh, man, really? Like, they skipped her. They oh, That's what they do if you turn down the fight. They find someone else. So it's going to be. Well, I mean, the, the girl fought for a title against Jessica I, and then, like, what was it two months later, f- defending the title again? Yeah, I was like, that's wild. She don't play no games, Valentina. Like even that one. So we'll talk. Who, obviously, we're gonna go with Caitlyn over Jennifer Mai. I know Jennifer Mai is like um a solid chick at one twenty five. She has a boxing background. Three and zero as a pro. Seventeen and five. She was uh, the Invicta flyweight champion, so she's solid. Okay. Her only loss in the UFC is to Liz Carmouche. Who also has a win over Caitlin. Okay. So the winner of this fight should be the next fight for Valentina. Oh, for sure. Yeah. At that point, they really can't deny Caitlin. Yeah. But so, Caitlin versus Valentina. Do you think Caitlin has the skills to take Valentina out? So I've spoken to Caitlin on a personal level, and she was saying how. She doesn't want to just fight for a title. She wants to win a title. She wants to win a title. And she knows that she has to work on her wrestling a little bit more and get, uh, you know, a little more muscle mass in order to beat Valentina. Mm -hmm. She got the right uh, husband to do that. Yeah, I agreed. Yeah. Kyle Kyle Sermonera. But then, like we've talked about with Kyle, he doesn't even work wrestling with her. But I've seen Caitlin goes into Belmore and trains wrestling with Gregor. Right. So I guess Gregor is her wrestling coach, while Sermonar is just like a life coach. I, well, I mean, it, it's there. There's some conflict of interest there. Yeah. Well, you, that that probably would complicate a relationship. Like, have you ever held notes for anybody? Of course. Like, have you ever held notes for your girlfriend? Mm, yes, back in the day, but never where well, like she, never like, where she was competitively fighting. No, yeah. but like one time. No, uh, a couple times. Okay. Two times. No, a bunch of times I've held mitts for my girlfriend in the past. Yeah. How many times? And I'm talking about one girlfriend. Yep, one girlfriend. How many times? She used to come to the gym with me back in the day. And then even... um, Stan. Yeah, no. What? She, six times? Ten times, maybe. Okay, ten times over how much of a period of time? Um, Four a, years? A year when she was training at that gym. Yeah, a year, maybe. What are you getting at? Just like, yeah, I get it. It's weird for a boyfriend no, and girlfriend it, to train No, it's together. just like, we've yeah, seen it yeah, before. Yeah, babe, I'll train you. And then it's like, no, like you would might be like, you might you might try to correct things, and then the girlfriend aspect comes in. Like, what do you mean? What well, do you mean even I'm that, doing like that. Well, or, also or something at that higher level, I'm sure there's conflict. My girlfriend was just training to train. She wasn't training to fight Valentina for Shane. I understand. Whatever. And also, you don't even know the correct technique, so you can't even help. Oh, me. don't ha- don't hate on me like that. I know the correct technique. So we're going Caitlin Chikagian over Jennifer Maya. 